545 now in crisis in the communications center. The people who answer your call for help are overwhelmed and it's causing some delays. Now the critical seconds because there's just not enough people to handle the increasing call load. Yeah, Eric, I did some digging on this, found out the current staffing levels hovering, you know, 60, 50 percent depending on the month. It's considered normal staffing, but it's not. It doesn't seem to be any solutions to this problem either. And as our city grows, it's only getting worse. Colorado Springs 911, what's the location of the emergency? Every minute of every day. Can you please verify that address for me one more time? Colorado Springs 911 call takers and dispatchers are answering your calls for help. It's roughly about 1,800 calls that are coming and going through the, throughout the day. But they're doing it with about half the staff national standards reveal they should have. Let me get a medical call started in. Are you with her right now? And these workers are forced to cover mandatory overtime shifts. This has gone on for months. As someone overseeing this operation, what keeps you up at night? Um, well, the biggest fear is is you're going to you know miss the call that's ringing where somebody is home and alone and they're having a medical emergency and by the time we pick up, um, they're no longer able to speak with us. You know those those are big challenges. Renee Henshaw brings more than 25 years of experience to the job. Finding qualified employees, it's a job that never seems to end. Well, my authorized staff is 114. I currently am at 87. Um, you take, I got two resignations this week. These critical staffing shortages mean sometimes when you call 911, a real person doesn't pick up the line for minutes, not seconds. This is a nationwide challenge. Despite hiring fares, the city authorizing more positions, and a robust benefits package, the 911 center has failed to move the needle much over the past years when it comes to getting closer to being fully staffed. I can employees can leave and go to in and out and make the same amount of money that that they're making to do this job. And so it's very challenging because you can't compete with private industry. So it's left to the call takers who do stick around to answer those calls. And, and you may have the experience where you call and somebody's you saw a couple green lights in there. Um, and it's answered, you know, within three seconds. Or you may be calling because you witnessed something out on the street that 50 other people witnessed and all called, and it could be four minutes. When dozens of calls flood these lines, it's possible those precious seconds could be the difference between life and death. For me, it's not just about filling a seat to have a number. So, so, you know, I can put 20 people out there and your phone is answered right away. But if that person can't do the job. Um, I'd rather have you wait a little bit longer and have somebody I'm confident is capable of, of assisting you in the way that you need than just someone who can pick up the phone fast. So obviously we asked, is this a salary issue as the city looked at bumping those up to hopefully get more people to apply for these jobs? They're really tough, tough mm -hmm. jobs. It's yeah, hard it's work. Yeah, it's not an easy work. Uh, work at weird hours too. But the city, they say that they have already done the audit here and checked in on other similar sized cities, what they're paying, and we're actually right in line or a little bit above already. Yeah. So it's just a matter of more folks. Yeah, hopefully applying. they're able to recruit some more people. And our Call for Action team wants to hear from you. So if you've encountered a lengthy wait while calling 911 and it resulted in any sort of tragedy, we want to share your story. So as we continue our investigation into these critical staffing issues that we've uncovered, you can call our newsroom. You see that tip line there on your screen. And really, you call us anytime you have news that we would like to follow up and get answers for you as well.